Hey guys, it's Mr. B. Thank you for checking out my video today. I hope you can like, share, and comment. It will really help push this video to other viewers as well. Today, I will be showing you how to make an animated dice from scratch in PowerPoint. So we have two examples here. We have uh, the normal dice and the jumping dice, which I will be showing you how to do in another video. But today, we are going to make this random dice by clicking on anywhere on the dice, you will get different results. I'll try to walk you through, through this video slowly. Um, I had some comment in the other 3D dice video, so I will walk you through it slowly this time. This dice we will work on in a different video, so I hope you can uh, stay tuned for that video as well. But today we are going to master one dice. And once you have mastered making this dice, uh, we can move on to making a more advanced dice like this one. Okay, so today we're going to be only focusing on making this and I'll walk you through slowly through the process. You can always pause and rewatch the video at any time if uh, my explanation is a little fast, but I'll try to do it slower this time. So let's hit escape and we're going to go to new slide here and choose a blank template here. And I'm just adding a format background. Uh, I'm changing it to black so you can see the dice better. Now we'll jump into Shape Tools, and we're going to choose this one. This is the Rounded Rectangle Shape Tool, so click on that, and let's draw a shape here. Any size you want is up to you. And we want to make it uh, the same height and width. Again, any height width is okay. So let's move this off to the side here maybe here is okay and now we want to remove the outline we don't need the outline so remove it and now let's go into format shape okay you can right click here and go to format shape and we are going to add some uh, gradient feel for our dice okay you can choose whatever you want whatever um, types you want. We're going to choose this one, radial. And let's choose, um, try different uh, different ones here. I think I want this one. So this, you want to set to zero. This, you want to set to 50% and 100% for the last one. And I'm going to choose a color here. Any color is fine. You can choose whatever color you want. It's really up to you. Uh, generally, I would like to go uh, dark, medium to light. That's how I usually do my, my color shading. So let's go with um, this color here, yellow. And for 50%, let's go with the light green here. And for 100%, let's go with the darker green here. Usually I go light to dark. Now, Let's click here, right here. And we want to go to 3D format, top bevel, and we want to choose the first bevel option. For width, it's really up to you. I'm going to put in, um, let's see, maybe let's try 24 first. And for the height, let's just put in 14. You can play around with this. And uh, when you're happy with the bevel, uh, you can uh, just go with that one. For this, I will set it to special. See, lighting, I'll choose maybe this one right here for special. Maybe I'll choose this option. And for this one, I'll choose um, the third option here for the material. Let's see, I want this one for special. Again, you can choose whatever you want for your dice. It doesn't have to be like mine, but I'm just going to go with this one. And now we have our the background for our dice. Now we've got to make the little dots for the dice. So let's choose an oval shape here. 
click that and let's draw a, a circle doesn't have to be perfect so let's put it right in the middle here and make sure it's the same for height and width that looks fine and make sure it's in the middle again and now let's take the outline off here so remove outline no outline and fill it in the shape fill just just fill in with a solid color I picked yellow and now click the background here and this shape right click and go to group and let's give it a name in selection pane here and copy it and paste and we'll just move it off to the side here right click go to group ungroup now let's copy this little dot here we're gonna make two number two now dice number two so let's just move the circle here and we'll then we'll move this one down here doesn't matter you can put it anywhere you want but I'm just gonna put it here and here now we're gonna select the two dots in the background right click and group again let's give it a name let's call this two all right let's copy it again an easy way to do it is control C control V let's ungroup this and let's copy this and make this dice number three. Let's just move the circle in the middle here. All right. Once you're done that, let's uh, copy everything. Okay. I'm just aligning the little dot in the middle here. Let's just grab everything here. Right click, group, and group again. And this give this a name. Call it three. Copy, paste. Again, Control C, Control V, or Control or control C control V on your uh, Windows I'm using a MacBook so uh, command C command V all right copy copy and this will be dice number four and we'll just move it here and let's copy everything here again right click and group and then group again and call this dice number four Okay, so you know the process. Copy, paste, and ungroup it. Copy, paste, right click, go to group, and ungroup. Let's copy one of the circle here. This will be dice number five. Copy, paste, put it in the middle. All right, that's centered. Let's copy, highlight everything, and choose everything, and group it. Call this number five, dice number five. Again, copy paste, right click, and ungroup it. And this will be dice number six. So let's copy this, copy and paste. And we'll just move this off to the side here, maybe here until it aligns just right. Okay, that looks good. Do it again here. And this is dice number six. So let's let's highlight everything here. Right click and group it again. And we'll call this dice number six. All right. So now we made our dice, six dices. Now we need to make some invisible buttons to trigger the animation. So head over the shape again. Let's choose the uh, rectangle tool here. Let's just, just draw a bunch of uh, rectangles here. And uh, let's give, let's just move here, move it over here. Let's see, okay, that looks maybe about there. So these these will be the triggers for our dice for the animation. So let's give this a name. Let's call this button one. And as you notice, I put number one inside the rectangle. So copy, paste, and you want to put number two inside here. And we'll call this button number two. All right. Now again, copy and paste. All right. So I'm just going to align this a little bit here because I want to make some room here. I want to show you guys uh, how easy you can do this. So let's just move this a little bit here. And uh, let's just move the rectangles here. Copy and paste. And let's move it to the right here. 
All right, let's put number three inside this rectangle and let's call it button number three here. Again, copy, paste, put a number inside. This will be button number four. Label it button number four here. And you want to do for you want to do the same thing for number five and number six. So copy paste and put number five here and call this button number five. And for the last one, copy and paste. And this will be button number six. And make sure to put number six in here as well. You can make this all invisible later, so don't worry about it. So let's see. Will it fit over our uh, dice I think so and you can adjust that later all right so let's uh, group everything here and choose animation spin animation and we'll open the animation pane click on timing with previous duration let's put in 0.2 seconds okay all right so let's do it again. Let's select everything here. And we're going to choose an appear animation, OK? So click on appear animation here. Make it to with previous. And just move this bar down here. And let's just drag this under here like this. So one, one, two, two, three, and three with. So match the animation, OK? All right, now that we uh, match the animation here, we can put it to a trigger. Those buttons that we made earlier, button one, button two, button three, button five, button six. So we want this to be button one. Pick these two animation. This will be button two for trigger. And button three, click on triggers, go to button three, and so on for four, five, and six. So you want to do the same thing. All right, so we got the last uh, trigger here. All right, now we need to make it disappear here, okay? So when we uh, click on the animation, we want it to uh, change to a different animation. So let's click on these right here, and you go to, you want to choose disappear, okay? You only want dice one to appear. So let's put this under dice one choose with previous so you want dice two three four five six to disappear and for dice two you want the same thing you want dice one dice three four five and six to disappear you want you only want dice two to appear to show up all right so here we have it start uh, let's go to button here two and we'll put on a button two and with previous so there's two ways of doing this you can either drag the whole animation below the button or just go to trigger and just um, put it through there so again choose disappear here or you can just drag it down like this if it's easier for you this way so just drag it down under uh, button three here and make sure you set the start with previous all right for button four one two three five and six go to exit effect and choose disappear and let's try the trigger version and go to button four here. Start with previous. Again, you can either drag the animation or just go to trigger and put it under the button. It's really up to you. And for button five, the same thing. And for six, you want one, two, three, four, five exit animation disappear because you only want dice number six to appear and choose with previous again your dice should look like this your animation look like this you can pause this part and check out the trigger like this so now I'm clicking on the first animation here I'm going to add a sound effect so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to effect option, go to sound, and we're gonna scroll down to other sound. 
you have to insert a dot wave file in order for this to work so here I have some uh, audio for my dice and I'm gonna choose this one and insert and now that I have that we can um, group all the dice together so select everything here go to shape format and select align choose align center and align middle so that everything is all centered and aligned now we have our dice here I just move it somewhere in the middle it doesn't really matter just put it anywhere here and now we are going to move our buttons here over the dice just like so and we're gonna make it invisible so first we need to go to format shape choose text option and transparency set it to 100 and click here shape option and go to tra transparency and set it to 100 now it's invisible oops we got to remove the borders here so click on the shapes here and go to shape format and click here and go to no outline and now we can test out our dice to see how it looks so let's hit the play button and test it out so this triggers dice two this one should trigger dice one dice four dice five dice five dice six awesome you have your first animate dice made from scratch in powerpoint you can grab this free template in the description box below this video if you want to see how it works and if you're new to this channel don't forget to like share and comment new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell for the materials i want to say thank you and wish you the best of luck in your classes